Hi, my name is Akshya and I'm from the GCS team. Today, I'm going to show you how to enable secure HTTPS and disable HTTP communication using JBoss 7.1. So what at the end of the setup, what this means is that you will be able to access your MDM hub console or the JBoss management console only via the HTTPS secured port or configured port. Uh, if you try to hit uh, either one the JBoss console or MDM try to launch a hub console over the HTTP port, you won't be able to launch it. So this uh, makes your application in JBoss very secure. Uh, this is documented in KB Finite 2698 if you want to go follow that, but um, I think I'm going to be showing you in detail the steps. So one prerequisite for this is like I'm hoping you have HTTPS enabled. Uh, already if not uh, there is a KB for that as well or end a video uh, support KB you can go follow that and set up HTTPS first and then a, sm a few small minor tweaks need to be done to um, disable HTTP. So the first step is uh, we will be uh, going to J uh, JPOS bin directory and running this uh, CLI command. So I have already connected and it's listening 1993 because that's my HTTPS uh, enable port. And once I hit that, um, see it says failed, but then it says duplicate resource. That means I have an entry already in my standalone folder XML pointing to socket by name HTTP and realm. Right, so that's good. It means it's already added. We don't have to worry about that. Uh, I will also show you one. So here's the line that talks about that. It This is what uh, we were trying to add by the command line and it's already added. So we can go to the next step. Uh, next step is uh, you don't have to do if you already have HTTPS setup because you would have done this as part of the previous HTTPS setup. But if you don't, then you could follow steps one and two in KB463011. That will help you generate a keystore. And then the third step would be to stop JBoss because we'll be making a couple of changes to the standalone pool.xml. Uh, this again uh, would be done or taken care of as part of uh, setting up HTTPS along with HTTP. But uh, if you haven't done, then here's what you need to do. So you would uh, go under security realm name equal to management realm and uh, for security realm application realm you'd add this entry the key store path entry in the standalone folder xml so this is what i'm talking about for management realm and for application realm you'll add ssl entry pointing to your key store location and the path would be the jboss server config directory related to that which is under standalone config and then it's password and etc right that's that step the next step would be, uh, we'd have to change a small thing. Uh, if you set up HTTP, this would be set to HTTP. You would have to change it to HTTPS. Here is the line under management realm and interface, you would change this to management HTTPS. And then next step would be under, under two, you would change the listener name to default. Here's that line. Uh, under under two, you would uh, four pointer. You would change the name to default, and then um, there is actually a step. Okay, this is step D, and then step F would be commenting out this line. Listener name is default, which is in fact just a line above that. So you can go ahead and just uh, comment out this line, and then finally. Uh, step E would be obviously to like comment out the default HTTP port, the JBoss and uh, remote tank port, which is 9990 and 8080, which will be towards the end of the file. So this line and this line, right? That's all for the standalone full changes. And then step five, to make this more permanent, you uh, as in like whenever we launch HTTP and the JNLB file gets downloaded to always launch or use HTTPS protocol, you can make it permanent by adding in these two uh, properties in this file. So every time you launch the JNLP, it will open only with HTTPS. And then finally, we would, again, that's all for it, and we will restart JBoss. Uh, I recommend you to clear the cache, and you can follow this KB145384 
uh, that talks about the folders needed for clearing cache and then once you restart jboss uh, you would be connecting to your hub console using 8443 if you try connecting with 8080 it will say connection refuse let me show you my jboss has started and if you notice it is only listing on the 9993 port and um, when i did a net stat for either the 8080 or the 9990 it uh, is not listening it's actually 9990 i've set it i've set an offset of 10,000. so in your case you'd have to enter what you said 9993 it will be three. so there we go as you can see when you launch it with 8080 it says can be reached and with 843 it immediately responded so that's the setup we are looking for and that's it. So here are some related KB articles and video KBs. And if you want help setting up HTTPS first on um, 7.1, there's a video KB for that. And also a knowledge base article on this number. If you want to do the same thing using 6.4 JPOS, here's a KB for that. And a couple of other related uh, KBs on how to and error and some FAQs. There are some KB numbers for that as well. Uh, so that's about it for today. Thank you so much.